Let's start with the first talk from uh, Stella Maris, and which is based in West Virginia University. Okay. Welcome to SOTIM 2022 and welcome to my presentation. So in this short um, speech of mine, uh, all I'm sharing is about um, will be in a paper uh, combining volunteer geographic information um, in WPDX standards to improve um, mapping of rural water infrastructure in Uganda, um, which is a collaboration, um, um, which is a, sh a shared experience of the water infrastructure mapping project. Um, that is a collaboration between uh, youth mappers, uh, WPDX, uh, Gulu University, West Virginia University, of course, with funding from um, you said um, the project team was diverse, um, constituting of all partners uh, across the spectrum of the collaboration. Um, and the project mainly focused on um, exploring how we can be able to leverage um, the open street map ecosystem, and that is people and data to improve decision making, uh, to improve data um, collection methods for decision making. Um, that is to say, how can we um, use OSM to bridge the longitudinal data gaps that usually exist um, in data sets that must uh, be used to uh, change livelihood um, across um, the populace? Um, so we reproduced um, just a little bit about WPDX. Um, it's an analytical platform um, that we will explore deep in this paper. Um, but we reproduce the OSM data methods integrated with this um, WPDX uh, standards, um, which is an open source platform as well. And in this case, um, the frequency of water point data collection is what we were looking at, um, improving the frequency and also contributing to the AI um, AML possibilities in the water sector, uh, of course, with reviews of the re uh, the redundancy in that environment as well. So the outcomes then um, were, of course, increased access to water point data for decision support tools like WPDX, um, and then also closing that data gap um, that um, exists, um, as we will see, for water infrastructure um, in Uganda, uh, data in Uganda. Um, of course, development uh, and um, improvement of the leadership teamwork and communication on technical mapping skills for youth mappers, uh, which were like the um, primary partners um, in execution of the project. And then, of course, the proof of concept, whether this is transferable from one place to another. And like I said, also examining the possibilities um, of AI ML developments within the water sector. Uh, that means uh, contributing a data set that can easily be applied uh, to automation of processes for water in infrastructure data extraction. So um, the project method was entirely um, a comparison and, and an extraction out of the WPDX data standards um, and the OSM data metadata overview. Um, so on my left is, um, which is your right, um, is the, the, the required parameters for WPDX data entry um, in overview. And then on the right are some of those, uh, not extensively, but just some of those that were necessary uh, or extracted out of the OSM metadata overview um, and analysis. Of course, there was training um, of youth mappers, and particularly um, we know that um, in Uganda, we have about 12 chapters, um, if not more, mainly 12 chapters. Uh, but at this time, it's mainly Gulu University that was engaged, uh, which started in 2017, and it has over 90 students currently as members of the chapter. But for the project, particularly 30 students were involved. And of course, there was remote data campaign that is creating a tasks on tasking manager and creating all this baseline data that was used to facilitate field mapping, um, as well uh, referenced with WPDX uh, platform to do um, baseline calculations uh, like uh, distance to uh, or population served in an area, estimations of population served in an area. There was field data collection. Um, and this took about 10 days to collect this data with a group of 30 students and over 650 points were uh, gathered. 
Um, and of course, the field uh, exercise was just a pilot. Uh, so it just covered a part of uh, Gulu district, which is Bungachira and Wanyama sub-counties. So uh, to say that um, the outcomes of the project, we just estimated with the data output uh, that we got, uh, looking at Bungatira, what you see here uh, is the before. And here we are looking at an average gap of 11 year difference uh, where we have not on, had an update um, on data in these two sub-counties. So uh, Bungatira about 94 functional and Wanyama about 74 functional. Of course, looking at all the other parameters that we were able to uh, integrate within the data collection method. Um, then after, uh, we can see that uh, we right now, of course, looking at that um, longitudinal gap, data gap, uh, over 270 points uh, functional now in the area. And also looking at the water source distribution, uh, the water point status where we had over um, 182 points uh, functional um, and in use, but 15 of those are actually not in use. Um, and then the water tech distribution, which was also an introduction from the reviews of OpenStreetMap and uh, WPDX uh, data standards. Um, and then, of course, the management um, in Bungatira, we see that um, most of this data is communally um, managed, uh, which also speaks into the entire infrastructure of um, uh, Uganda when it comes to water management um, institutions. And then, of course, the Wunyama, uh, we also see that um, this one had uh, a shoot of over 400 points uh, that are in use um, with over um, 361 in use and 47 uh, not in use. And of course, a few of them decommissioned. Um, and then of course, um, the different water source distribution, the tech distribution, and also the uh, management. And here we see that most of the um, water points actually in Unyama are institutionally managed, meaning that there is prevalence of um, various institutions like schools, hospitals, um, that actually had uh, uh, like availability or was distributing most of their water to the community, um, to the environment. Yeah, and of course, uh, with the upload of that data, then we can be able to, um, I would say, uh, utilize uh, this platform, the analytical platform in this case, which is WPDX, uh, with a better representation of the current situation on ground. Uh, but also examining that um, applying such or integrating uh, the different data methods or utilizing or capitalizing on the ability of uh, the OSM ecosystem can actually create um, results that are uh, valuable to communities, uh, not only Uganda, but also different other places. So through the analytical uh, platform of WPDX, you can explore a suite of tools uh, where you can examine service gap in new construction, rehabilitation priority, those ones that might need, um, that are suffering pressure from the different, or might be at the verge of breakdown that require, you know, uh, immediate attention, um, as you can see. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much um, for listening to me, and I hope you have a good uh, conference. Bye-bye.